Singapore is off to a great start at the Tokyo Paralympics. The Republic has won its first gold medal thanks to swim queen Yip Pinsu. Yip successfully defended her women's 100-meter backstroke S2 title in dominant fashion. The double world champion finished in a time of 2 minutes, 16.61 seconds. Japan took home the silver and Mexico settled for bronze. It's an amazing feeling to be able to hear our national anthem play at the Tokyo Satek Center and I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, I think the race itself was a, a great opportunity for me to, to race again here today and uh, to prepare for my next race uh, coming in a week's time. I'm really, really excited for that as well. Yeah. She told me that actually it was a tough season for her because uh, of circuit breaker. She could not get into the water for two months. So getting in shape for the Tokyo Paralympic Games was a big challenge for her. She's such an amazing woman and uh, the, uh, we will get to see more of her swimming later next week. So we look forward to her performing in the women's 50 meter backstroke S2 category. A check on our other Team SG athletes today. In the men's B 4,000 meter cycling individual pursuit, tandem cyclist uh, Steve T and his pilot Ang Ki Meng set a personal best of 4 minutes 40.453 seconds. In the third heat, T also clinched victory over his Hungarian opponent. Still, the duo finished a ninth out of 14 pairs overall, not enough to secure Steve a medal playoff. In swimming, deputant Sophie Soon finished last in her 100-meter butterfly S13 heat. The 25-year-old clocked a time of 1 minute 28.61 seconds. Soon says she was not able to see the lines when she began her race, but is looking forward to her main event, the 100-meter breaststroke. Honestly, I haven't raced a uh, 100 butterfly in a very long time. And um, there were some unfortunate circumstances where I wasn't able to see the line when I jumped in. Um, but overall, um, I think it was okay. It's not too bad of a race. Um, we call it the warm-up race before my main event, the 100 breaststroke, which will be next week. So um, I'll say it's an alright start to the, my debut at the Paralympics. <laughs> 